Hey there, Aries. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aries for the week of May 30th. If this one really isn't resonating, Aries, check out your natal chart and the other readings, specifically your moon sign, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You may want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. If you are involved with an Aries, please keep in mind that the energies here could be reversed for you. If you'd like your own private reading, you can find all of my information down below in the description box. My least expensive is 15 this week. I'm running a special for Memorial Day for a one question reading. I, to, I also have a $50 reading. That's a lot like the ones I post here on YouTube. If you want to deep dive into a relationship or a situation, if you really have something complicated going on, I have a 10 question, $75 reading. All right, Aries, we're looking at the overall energy here. I'm also going to pull cards for your person. I'm going to clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe for me since I post weekly on YouTube. And if you um, would like the extended reading, click the join button down below. It's 10 bucks. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. If you're on an iPhone or an iPad, it won't show up the first time. You have to be on a desktop to see it. All right, so we're looking at the overall energy here, and I really hope that you are looking for some changes, Aries. We have the world in reverse, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. The world is an ending. It's the last card in the major arcana. It's like learning lessons along the way. Um, you're clearing this milestone. You're leveling up in life. Um, and you're just about there. Uh, the world is in the reverse, so it hasn't quite ended yet. In fact, with the three of wands here, this is waiting for your ships to come in. It's being patient. It's the idea that something is on its way to you. For some of you, you may have been trying to manifest this. You may have asked the universe, whether consciously or unconsciously, for these things. And what's coming in, we have the Ace of Pentacles here, which is a brand new, a brand new cycle. Um, the pentacles tend to be like with health, with wealth, well-being, career, home. So I think what's going on here, this could be a new job. It could be a new home. It could be um, working on your health, a new cycle in health. Um, we also have the Ace of Cups over here, which is a new love relationship, or this could be a new cycle with a person. Ace of Cups is falling in love with someone. It's an overwhelming amount of love. Love how it is uh, symbolized here with those butterflies. If you've ever had butterflies in the stomach. All right, we have lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. There is a, a big shift coming for you. I don't think you're, you're going to see it happening. This is kind of coming out of nowhere. We have happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other, the paradise card, and palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. For some of you, you've been wanting things to change. You've been waiting for things to change. You have this world in the reverse, and it's a kind of a sense of like, oh, when is it going to happen? When is it going to move forward? Well, it's about to move forward. So... Let's go ahead and check out the energy of what's heading towards you. And let's see. Okay, here's what we have so far, Aries. This is the Tarot of Mystical Moments. And I'm going to be using the Good Karma Tarot to clarify. You can find links to both of those down below. So first thing I want to say is we have three major arcana showing up. Those are big shifts of energy. Um, the death card is Scorpio energy, and so is the tower, more Scorpio. Some of you might be dealing with the Scorpio or you have Scorpio in your chart. But the tower, all right, the tower is destruction for the sake of creation. It's getting rid of things that don't serve you in order to make way for something that is on your path. The death card is change. It's inevitable. It's going to happen. And it could be painful change here. For a lot of you, I wonder if you've been through a really tough cycle. You may have ended a relationship. You may have lost a job. You may have had to move. 
Um, maybe there's a sense where you feel like everything is kind of falling apart. And yeah, it probably is in order to make room for lots of good things here. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. Wheel of Fortune is fate, destiny, good luck, good fortune. Wherever you're headed right now, you're on a good path. Now, we do have the King of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energy. It's possible that you have water in your chart, but I would also say that you could be starting a relationship with a water sign or someone with water in their chart or someone who kind of embodies the King of Cups energy. King of Cups is very emotionally mature, emotionally available, not necessarily super like vocal about their feelings, but you can tell exactly how this person feels about you by how uh, they treat you. Um, I think you have this new relationship that may be like leading to a marriage here. Four of Wands is taking a relationship to the next level. They're literally on this house, right? It's stability, it's security in a relationship, it's coming home to someone. For others of you, you could be buying a home here, um, moving into a home. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is stability, it's security, it's a relationship that lasts a very long time. So there's like, like buying a home or starting a job or something that leads to long-term stability for you with that Ten of Pentacles. I don't know, you could even be like starting a side hustle or your own business, or you've gotten a job, like a lucrative job that's going to lead to stability in your career, stability in your finances. All right, let's go ahead and see what is coming in for you, Aries. I feel like a lot of you, like it's not just changes in one area of your life. This is multiple areas, and it could be a little bit scary with the change that's going on. I was lucky enough to have a tower moment about, this is roughly 10 years ago, and it completely radically altered the uh, my life, my trajectory of my life, and I couldn't be more happy that it happened, even though I was miserable at the time. We have the temperance card, Sagittarius energy. This is balance. It's being patient. Um, it's a sense like you're, you're headed in a very good direction here. Hold on. We'll say that this is a card that has LGBTQ overtones, always has, always will. We've got the sun here, Leo energy. This is a uh, clarity. This is also a period of warmth and happiness. The sun is a card of the summertime. It's like that big, bright Leo energy, um, feeling good. It's a card of vacations. This is like, your life kind of leveling up here and many, like, I think if you've had a rough time and a lot of you, if this is your reading, you have had a rough time. There could be a new relationship or someone else coming back to you. You're going to be firing on all um, engines here. You're, everything's going to be working out for you. All right, Aries. We have the four of wands here. Again, that stability in a relationship. We've got the queen of cups, queen of cups, king of cups, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is a sense of meeting your match, a divine pairing, um, someone who's very loving. Cups are loving their emotions, intuition, someone who's very mature about relationships here, very mature about what they're doing here and the Knight of Cups. For some reason, this card reminds me of the love boat. And you can tell me if I'm dating myself, if any other of you remember the love boat. Used to watch it at my aunt and uncle's house with my cousin back in the day as a child. All right, Knight of Cups is romance. Um, it's courtship. It's going on dates. Also, again, there's a lot of water showing up. A lot of you have a water sign coming in. But it is also like falling in love. I think of the Knight of Cups as like flowers and poetry and late nights and wine and just a very romantic figure. He or she. All right. Tell me about Aries. I'm loving your energy here. Ha, 
we've got the chariot, cancer energy. The chariot is moving ahead in life. It's moving forward in life. Some of you may possibly be moving. Um, there's this, like, the chariot is like, I'm getting ahead. I'm getting my house, my car, my dog, my child, the career that I wanted, all of my ducks in a row, maybe even physically moving along with this ace of cups here. That is a brand new love relationship or a new cycle in love. And boom, king of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. This is you in your power. Um... This is you showing up in your element here, taking action towards your goals. Love your energy here. Um, I think that a lot of you have had a struggle and now things are going to get easier, even though there's going to be some upheaval. So let's take a little look at the extended reading. We'll do a little preview here. I want to see the unknown or what you don't see coming. I also do like someone's feelings for you, their intentions, the advice, all that good stuff. But I'm very curious about the unknown because I think you have a lot of change. All right. Tell me about Aries. What is something that they won't see coming? What is something that they won't see coming for Aries? What's the unknown here in this situation? What's the unknown for Aries? Okay. Huh. We have the Justice card, Libra energy. Justice is truth. It's someone being ethical, um, someone speaking their truth. It may be even like karmic justice or the scales balancing in your favor. You had the Temperance card show up earlier. For a lot of you, again, you had a rough time and now things are going to be getting easier. The pendulum is going to like shift on you here. This is also maybe like some of you may have a court case here, or you may have been dealing with child custody or getting a divorce. That's another possibility here. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you would like to see the extended reading, click the join button down below. It's 10 bucks. You get access to all the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. If you're on an iPhone or an iPad, it won't show up. So you'll have to be on a desktop to see it. And blessed be.